Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x times of square root of x is equals to 8 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here uh, we need to find all the roots of this equation. So for this uh, here very first thing we are going to do is first we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side. So in order to remove this square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as so after applying squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form 8 and its whole square so here uh, because our target is to get the uh, roots of this equation uh, so uh, here first we need to use here uh, the nice algebraic formula you know about that now if we have a multiplied by b and its whole square so that we apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will be written as a square is multiplied by b square. So here we need to apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will be written as x square is multiplied by square root of x and its whole square is equals to in the right hand side. You see here this is 8 and we need to write this 8 into the prime factors form and we know about that the prime factors of 8 are uh, 2 cubed and its whole square. So that uh, here uh, after a little bit simplification we have this is x square and this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here uh, x only is equals to here in the right hand side we need to apply the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n but here in the right hand side we need to interchange both of these two exponents and after interchanging these two exponents it will be written as 2 square and its whole cubed and uh, now here further in the next step this is x square multiplied by x is equals to x cubed and this is the 2 square and we know about that 2 square is equals to 4 and its whole cubed. And now here in the next step we need to move this 4 cubed from uh, right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed minus 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here uh, we need to apply here the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so uh, you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so that uh, here uh, after applying this formula to the above equation it will be written as first you have a minus b here our a is x minus b is 4 into this is a square here our a is x square plus a b here our a is x and b is 4 plus this is b square and b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And uh, now here further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus this is 4x plus 4 square becomes 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So from here we have this is x is equals to 4 this is the uh, first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. So you know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method. The second one is completing square method and the third one is a quadratic formula so that here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. For this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a a b and c here and after substituting all of these values here it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 
So here further in the next step we have this is x is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square becomes 16 minus this is 4 is multiplied by 16 and it is divided by 2. So here we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus square root of here we need to take common 16 inside the square root sign and after taking common 16 we will get here uh, 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need to apply this square root separately on both of these two values and after applying this square root it will be written as minus 4 plus minus we write these terms as square root of 16 into square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 and it is divided by 2. So here after uh, we need more simplifications and we have this is minus 4 plus minus here we know about that the square root of 16 becomes 4 and here you know about that when negative sign appear inside the square root sign it will become here iota so we write it as this is square root of 3 into iota and here uh, we need to break this fraction and we apply this 2 separately on both of these two values. And you see here we need to cancellation these terms. We have this is 2 times 2 becomes minus 4. We get here minus 2 plus minus. This is also 2 times 2 becomes 4. And we get here 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And from here we have x is equals to 4 be the one real root of the given equation. So these are the total three roots of the given equation which we get here in this method and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.